Damn it, she's heavy. Mm -hmm. She's heavy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special guest. Sir John is in the building. Watch out, watch out. You have to know who Sir John is because Aww. he's epic, iconic. He does Beyonce's makeup. Okay, I don't know if you guys know who Beyonce is. That was a sweet joke, <laughs> obviously. No, no, yeah, no, no. wasn't that funny, no, but no, no. you're just such an artist and I'm like so honored to have you here on my channel Thanks, and sharing all his tips and tricks. Like, listen, he is an open book yes. and he's gonna give you guys, we're just gonna have a really nice chatty video and have some fun. talk about life and everything. Yeah. And one of the most amazing reasons that we're here is, do you want to tell them about yeah, this? Yeah, no, you go for it, you go for it. Oh, you want, <laughs> you want me to do all the work? Dun, da da. Yeah. Sir John, tell us, you have a collection. Yes. A Disney collection. Yeah. Not only just Disney, Lion King. It's one of those things where I got a phone call from Disney back in uh, August of last year. Yes. They were like, hey, listen, we're doing Lion King and we'd want to see if you want to do Lion King cosmetics for Disney. And I was like, um, yeah, can we do this? It is incredible. Like the pigment, this eyeshadow, everything in the collection is beautiful formulas. Thank you. Thank and you. who knows formulas better than someone who's been doing this for so long. The knowledge that you have with powders and liquids and just all the formulas, shaping and everything is crazy. And you're gonna like learn a lot of stuff in yeah. this video. Inside the box, we have the full collection here. We have a sculpting palette and it's dreamy. An eyeshadow palette. We have some lipsticks and we have a really beautiful highlight as well. This is like a lip tint, right? Tinted lip balm, yeah. Tinted lip balm. It's fabulous. Thank you. I'm so excited yeah. for you. Congratulations. And side note, we did not plan on matching today. Yes. So you see this corresponding we, great minds think alike situation? It's just like meant to be. Show them your knees, show them your knees. <laughs> This is, this happened, like- how On accident! Know? I hope you love it. I loved it. I had so, such a good time coming to you guys. This makeup look. And we had a fun day. Oh, he's day. doing my makeup in the yeah. video. That's what we're about to do. Yeah. We didn't even talk about that. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, you're gonna do my makeup. <laughs> this is what the finished look looks like. And uh, let's get into it. So I'm grabbing a moisturizer right now. This happens to be the Marc Jacobs Youth Quake, which I'm liking at the moment because it gives so much hydration. It's not oily at all. It's mm, a great mm. prep for makeup. But the great thing about it also is that it won't lift your foundation. Sometimes I actually will skip a step. I know this is like the cardinal rule and you never do this, but when I'm doing concerts, I don't do moisturizer just because I know she's gonna sweat mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. I, and I don't want the foundation to lift. She is Beyonce, right? Is she, that's who, yeah. that's BK. who the she is. BK. BK. <laughs> Beyonce and Nola, yeah. Yes, so yes, yes. for example, if we're in the winter, we'll definitely go in and always hydrate. But summer shows, no, it's a wrap. Like, especially when we did, uh, Coachella in the Valley, mm, or mm -hmm. when we did Global Citizens in Johannesburg, it was gonna I mean, be no more She was dancing for like... A long time. She's doing cardio on no, stage. No. That's my one thing. I always wonder, I'm like, how is it? Because she has a towel too, like how yeah. is her makeup staying on? What, what kind yeah. of witchcraft is this? No, we're actually, we're running back. So whenever she's changing, as she's walking back, if you happen to be one of the people I'm talking to in the front of the show, I'm running back, I'm running back. So what we do is we start to change her look, you know, um, or, or zhuzh it up. So mm -hmm. sometimes you know, it'll be a situation where we need a bit more powder. I'm just continuing to build on the face that I already started earlier. Dang. If that makes any sense. Sometimes I feel like by lunch, I'm like, oh, whoa, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, where'd my eyebrow go? So duality is key. Whenever you have a, um, you know, whenever you use a pencil, mm -hmm. you want to make sure that you use a powder over top. Mm -hmm. A lot of people do have oily skin. And you know, looking at a pencil, it has such a waxy consistency. Yeah. That you want to make sure that you set it, laying the groundwork for something else. He was asking me my number one pet peeve off camera and I was like, let's just talk about pet peeves makeup wise on camera. One of them is when like my brow disappears. What I do is I look at my brows after I do them in my Snapchat camera mm -hmm. because sometimes you don't see like the holes or the Ooh, fade. Ooh, that's a good tip. Like when something is faded that's in a certain a spot, you don't see it in person, yeah. but then in the camera, You'll it'll, it'll it. let you know. Or camera like you're crooked. Lie. But Desi, they're supposed to be sisters, not twins. As long as they go to the same party. The people, whoever made up that phrase, <laughs> couldn't get their bra straight, you know? Like, I mean. <laughs> oh, so you just had a birthday recently. Yeah, in March. In Mar oh, in March, it's been, what, listen, the time I mean, we can by. still celebrate it now. I'm, yeah, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not upset about it, so. And your husband just had a, a huge massive birthday a couple days ago. Yes, he did. Shout we, out to the tourists in the building. Yeah, we threw him a big fiesta. I know, I saw that one. Very good time, lots of tequila. Lots of tequila, we love that. Always. So what I'm gonna do now, babe, is we're gonna go in and do a little trick here. And the trick I'm using oh, wow, is, you're fast. is gonna be, I'm gonna put a, a little bit of glue in your brows. Ooh. So the reason I use this is it's a wig glue. It's mm -hmm. a lace-on glue and I learned this 
the hard way because I have a client who likes to jump in the water a lot for music videos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have a husband who likes to jump in water a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I feel like we're twins so, you now. Know, so, you know, yeah, I, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a tiny bit of this. Okay, wig glue. Wig glue, and it dries super clear, but the reason I use this is because it doesn't move at all, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it always, always, always keeps the brows in place, and it washes off so easily. As soon as you jump in the shower, soap and water will take it right away. But I've never found a, a brow gel that lasts as long as this does. Yeah, see, I don't feel like brow gels ever last that long, so yeah. I always use like soap. But on a hot day, soap will leave you stranded. Soap yeah. will leave you stranded if there's humidity outside. So yeah, that's why I get into a habit of using this guy. You know what? Fuck soap. Yeah. Fuck soap. <laughs> fuck I'll soap. Like, and I will love that you what use a, what a, like, what an kind of oil <laughs> product you are, soap. Yeah. Leave Done me, with you. Leave me high and dry when I need you the most. To the left, to the left. <laughs> Let me see what this looks like. Oh, so it keeps all the little hairs up. Keeps the baby hairs right in place, doesn't move. And also what I learned is that for people who have for people who have, uh, you know, who, if you have any friends who suffer from cancer or, you know, who have had radiation, they had to go mm -hmm. through chemo and they don't have any brows or someone who plucked their brows too much in the 90s. Um, this is a really good remedy because this gives you a palette to draw upon. So it doesn't matter if you have hair, if you don't, this actually gives you texture and you can draw beautiful oh. hair-like strokes on top of it. If that goes missing from your kit today, yeah. like a lot of other things that no, are going good. missing, I think... You you wouldn't even know that it My was me. Really good. So I'm gonna tell you how. I'm, can I tell you how, uh, I found, how I knew about you? Yeah. Oh, okay, so. I love this story. I've never heard it before. I don't think. How about? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Either. Okay. You know, I moved from fresh to LA. I moved here from New York City, and so it came from like a completely different situation. Everyone's in this business, right? Mm -hmm. But there are not so many people who stand out who are just who you can see a light around them. You know, and I'm just a really real motherfucker, and mm -hmm. I, I am not gonna. Everyone who knows me knows that. So it's just like when I saw you, I was like, you know what? I rock with her. I don't know her, but I rock with oh, her. Oh, I love that. And so I saw, I knew that you were doing this, uh, you were doing a, a collaboration yes. with- Yes, Dose. You, the Dose, yeah, and I love, love Anna. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, you know what? Um, I gotta go and support. That was my first beauty event I went to ever, kind of, in a way, like on the LA scene. And I was like, I'm definitely gonna go, and I'm gonna go and introduce myself and and see what she has to say and see if she's nice to me, right? So I went, I didn't yeah, know anybody. Yeah, I was blacked out. Yeah, so I, no, 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 not even. So I went and I didn't know anybody. I, th I was like, I was like, my guy who's like, you're gonna go, you don't know anybody. And I was like, babe, I don't know anybody, but it was, it's okay. I think I, I think Jen Atkins gonna be there. Yeah. Jen Atkins and I are super tight, right? Mm -hmm. And so I went and then it's like all the OGs were there. It was like everybody was in the building. So I felt like, you know, at home. And then I saw you. And then I saw your husband, and I'm like, man, I think she knows who I am. Just, just say, tell her that Sir John's here. And he was like, okay, hold on a second, give me a second. And then um, I saw you, and then you weren't drunk, you were just laughing, you were giggly. That's all it was, you were just laughing. I was, yeah, I wasn't drunk at all. Yeah, all your makeup was on, and your, your lashes, your mascara was still in place. Okay, yes, yes, yes. So that means that's, you know, that's a huge indicator. That I was. That you were in a good place. You got me at a perfect time, though, too. It was like right after that. You were on your way out? Maybe. Alcohol had me on my way out. That was a good time. No, I remember being so emotional because you were just so sweet to me. And I think I started crying because I was like, oh my God, you're Aww. like the nicest person. And it was just such a nice thing Thanks, that you babe. said to me. And it was, Thank you. That was so awesome. And you came and you showed me so much love. I had an event in, uh, in New York for a company. And you, you showed up, showed, like, it was just, it's just nice when people show up for you in general. Oh, anytime. yeah. Anytime, you know, like, as a makeup artist, I, I feel like I belong to everyone else. So I'm always at someone else's, you know, day or yeah, event yeah, or... Yeah, of course. So like when you have something, you never forget like who shows up for you. For you. Yeah, and I really appreciate it, babe. Of course. You're just such a pure soul. Oh, thanks. Tell my guy that. <laughs> oh, I'm going to tell him. Okay, Jeff, give me his number. I'll call him right now and be like, he's a pure soul and he's got that body? <laughs> <laughs> he has better body than I do, though. Ugh. Listen, I don't know. I was like scrolling, you know, I was scrolling through Instagram and then I was like, er, <laughs> oh. Uh, listen, you know what? I want to say stay ready so you don't have to get ready, I guess. Oh, that's a good phrase, but I can't seem to like keep that up. Yeah, no, it's, it's difficult, especially when you're on the road all the time, you know, it's like, how do you eat right? And I don't even know what like eating right is right now because <laughs> I have no self-discipline when it comes to food. Oh yeah, me neither. Right. Do you cook? All the time. I cook better than I do Okay, makeup. so better than you're just makeup. like full 100%, like you cook well, <laughs> you're sweet, and you have body, so I mean. Oh, I have some other things that are not really like favorable. Well, you have to, because then you'd be boring. Yeah, I'm moody. I'm working on some other things.
See, but you have to have those things though, I feel like. Okay. Twins, sisters, No, cousins. so now you have me o obsessing, right, <laughs> about like this brow situation. <laughs> like, why don't you work around your family, babe? That's the way to do it. Like, seriously, if anybody's fucking listening at home, <laughs> this is what you do. You employ the people you love and work yeah. around the people you love. That's the goal, like that's life, you know? Well, I love them already and so I never want them to leave. Even my brother, when he tries to leave at the end of the day, I'm like, um... Where are you going? Can you just really? Stay here? Oh, that's, dude, that's that's amazing. Ooh, they're looking good. Almost there. Almost. Mm. I have some big shoes to fill too. I've seen some of the beats that you get by Aaron. <laughs> Baby, you're killing it, man. <laughs> Everybody's so different. It's just such a learning yeah. experience for me. I was saying that like I love getting my makeup done because it's like a mini masterclass for me, mm. and I've learned so much sure. every time. And it's insane to see how many different products, everybody uses different products. Something different, absolutely. It's, lo it's a lot different than the YouTube world because I feel like in the YouTube world, people recommend something and then everybody's using the same types of products. In your world, that's not the same and you guys, nobody uses the same foundation, concealer, mm. step by step. Okay. And like on YouTube, a lot of the times we have the same step by step. Do you ever get upset when you find something and do you feel like you have to keep it to yourself? Because I don't, because I don't, no one necessarily sees my kit as mm -hmm. much as people see your kit yeah, all the time. Yeah. You know, I don't think so because I think YouTube is very, it's talent, but it's also like a personality platform. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's more of a friendship building platform to me. So. Yeah. And you're open. You're yeah, an open book. Yeah, yeah. A lot of makeup bars aren't open. No, no, but I get. I get that because I feel like people are hiring you for these tricks, these skills, and you have them so you protect them in a yeah. sense. You know, some people feel that way. But a YouTube, it's a little bit different. You know, let me speak. Let's speak to that. Speak on it. When people have to, when people feel that, you know, because there's so many, I'm open. Like, when I, when I have master classes, it might not be a million people there, but I'm going to tell you every single piece of mm -hmm. the recipe I have. Yeah. Because, no, listen, you can take me to the grocery store and... And we can go shopping and you can tell me everything your mom uses to make what's your mom's favorite dish. But you're not my mom. But you but I'm not your mom. See? I'm not gonna be able to yeah, cook it like your mom exactly, cooks it. Exactly, exactly. So I like agree. listen, I'm gonna send you with the care package and I'm gonna give you blessings and I'm gonna give you the recipe and honestly wish you well with the setup of your dinner. Mm -hmm. But just know that the flavor is gonna be different. Yeah. So like if you're a makeup artist or a beauty professional out there, be flowing and giving with mm -hmm. your advice and all the inf information that you've gained and garnered along the way. Yes. And if you look at the medical community, so mm -hmm. like, you know, look, look at doctors or nurses or surgeons, the medical community, where would they be if they didn't share their findings with each other? Like where yeah. would modern medicine be? You know, modern, we would be in the dark ages. As a community of beauty enthusiasts or makeup artists or, you know, beauty celebrities or people who li literally push people to buy things that actually increase their sense of self-worth. Yes, yeah. We have to also, you know, realize that, listen, we're helping people, not just with, you know, their vanity, but also their emotional state. Yeah, 100%, yeah. it's so true. At the end of the day, it's like you said, nobody has your hands, nobody's doing that. We all do things differently. And even the way you pounce with a beauty blender mm -hmm. and apply foundation is so different with everybody. Mm -hmm. I can watch Ariel pounce the foundation into my skin <laughs> and I still can't figure out what's going on. It's so personal, you know, mm -hmm. it's like someone's Print. So I'm using a brown pencil right now. I'm giving you like a, we're giving you like a, a smokier eye, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a bronzy smoke eye, and we're gonna have a, have a surprise for what we're gonna use on the lid later. Oh yes. But so I like to cheat. So this is the groundwork for every uh, shadow I do. Mm -hmm. I always like to use a little bit of an eye coal underneath. And when I say eye coal, I use an emollient pencil. An emollient pencil is great because it's blendable. So a waterproof pencil isn't gonna give you that blend mm -hmm. that emollient eye coal will. It grabs every single fleck of like shadow on mm -hmm. your lid. I never use like primers that are like light, medium, and dark. I never use concealer on the lid. Concealer on the lid for me, it's just, it's just, it's too emollient and it makes your eyeshadow oxidize. Oh, so you don't use anything. I just go, I love to see a little bit of the color of someone's lid right behind the shadow. Oh, and I see my lid's really red, so like. But but to me, that's money in the bank. That's kind of <clears> like <throat> currency because I want the shadow payoff to be a little warmer, yeah. actually. So I would never cancel it out. So sometimes I feel like eyes look a little too naked and we take the three dimensional quality away when we put foundation on someone's lid yeah. or concealer. I used to put like a really, really light concealer over my whole eye and then I was like, wait, why am I doing this? Yeah. Cause then it kind of looks weird up here. If you notice, have you ever put concealer underneath your eyes all the way to the lash line at the bottom? Mm -hmm. And then also on the top of the lid and you realize it looks a little alien-like mm -hmm. while you're getting dressed. Yeah. And then you're working to give that dimension back. Yes. So and then my to... eyes look extra tiny. See, I don't always have the luxury of time. <laughs> so, especially when I'm working with the girls I'm working with, so mm -hmm. I always have to time myself. Eyes stay under 20 minutes, skin stays about 10 minutes. And 
Wow, 10 minutes for skin? Well, I mean, when I, when I say, in theory. In theory. <laughs> I said, Mexican minutes or? <laughs> CB time. <laughs> I'm like, mm. That's island time, babe. No, no, no. I remember we were getting ready for the formation video. Uh -huh. And so Neo um, B's hairstyle, it was a scene she had to change. And she's like, listen, I'm just gonna wear this look into the next scene. And the look was not really for the next scene. Mm -hmm. And for me, I'm OCD about my work. So I'm like, uh, no, we need to change it. We need to reset this look. I need this to be a moment when you're on the porch, mm -hmm. the two braids and the black dress and the men behind you. I knew that was gonna be like a marquee uh, scene. I whipped the face together in like 20 minutes, not, not even like 17 minutes. Dang. I got fast. Do you start over or do you build? I just kind of started over. And so the reason, I, the way I got quick, I used to do makeup in a strip club. You know that, right? Mm, no. Oh, I think I, I think I heard that before. Yeah, I used to work with Charlotte Tilbury and Pat McGrath in the daytime. And so after working for those girls in the daytime, we weren't really making any money as an assistant editorially. So I had to, I had to go and do some makeup in a strip club. But it was cool. I learned some really, I learned how to be super fast. But also, I've met some of the most lovely ladies that I'm still cool with to this day. Oh. That sounds like fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. There's a lot of drama too, though. You already knew how to keep the sweat off the performers, like basically, since way back when. Basically, yeah. I didn't think about it like so, that. So like it was wow, just prepping you. So if you notice what I was doing just now, I used an eye coal. I used a little bit of a lip pencil actually on the lid. So Ooh, lip pencil, lip since pencil. it's so emollient, it's gonna give so much grab to our shadows, and it's gonna work to make them adhere in a really super organic way, so we don't have to. Oh, it's like a nice. Yeah, topi color. It's like a nice topi color. And the reason I love topi colors, whenever you're looking to have something recede, when I say recede, when you want a depth of field in the cheekbones, in the sockets of the eyelids, mm -hmm. you want a color that's cooler. You don't want something that's warm. A bronzier color or a warm color won't allow you to have that receding uh, dimension. Mm -hmm. So I went to school for art history. And if you look at an apple, an apple is going to be darker where the light falls away from it on the sides. And mm -hmm. it happens to be a cooler color. It's never a warm color. It's never a shimmery. So if you ever want to have that sense of depth as well, make sure it's void of shimmer. Wow, such a good lesson. I've been using warm tones. Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? Like, why don't you <laughs> but I'm here, me? You but I'm here. Me? Like, it does, actually. Um... <laughs> No. But every time I see you, it translates. It looks amazing. All right, bam, let's go for, we're gonna go for right now. Mind you, that's not super sexy, but it's it's gonna give us a magnetized pull for a yes, shadow. Yes, yes, yeah. And let's go for the shadow. Are you ready for it? Are you kidding me? I think I'm ready. So, so this is my this is my gift to Desi today. Bam. <laughs> okay, go for it. Okay, let's open this puppy up. <laughs> That's like how I felt. Wait till you guys see the eyeshadow palette, actually. Is that what we're going for yeah, first? Go for it. yeah. It's called... Can't wait to be queen! <laughs> That's how I feel today. Yeah? You're about to make me a queen. Oh, Babe, you're already a queen. I'm just here to usher a new look onto the queen. And we're gonna go directly into these shadows. Whoa! <laughs> okay, can I just tell you, and everyone's gonna be like, wow, surprise, surprise, Desi, but I'm living for these matte shades. Ooh. They are so stunning, and I haven't even swatched them yet, but i kind of been dying to swatch this one. Bam. Wow. Bam. Let's see about this pigment you speak of here. Ooh, honey. Okay, let's do this one. You don't even have to go that hard. I'm not even Bam. going that hard. I'm like <laughs> gently just like, doo doo. Oh, this purple shade is really Purple's pretty. Beauty. So, you know what? I got oh, inspired by these. Oh my gosh. I went on <laughs> Safari and if you've ever been on safari and you go and you see all this vegetation it's and the, the life of, of what it is to just be in the wildlife, it's, it's so, it provokes you to just do something, you know? Yeah. Like, so like this palette, literally, if you look at these natural colors, this is the African landscape. Yes. It, it wasn't something I had to go far from from there. That's why I love it so yeah. much. And this is like sunset. And I wanted a gold that was not yellow. Yes. So this is like a really rich antique situation it's not yellow it's not tacky it mm -hmm. isn't look garish which one are so we going for we're gonna go for i'm gonna do this bronzy one in the top left corner mufasa or, mufasa is it mufasa yeah it's mufasa. mufasa it is i love the names mufasa nala king pride rock african clay the meadows, the meadows. uzazu <laughs> safari khaki is safari like kind of is my shit. oh my god it's my jam baby Ooh. so safari Ouch. khaki is it is this is like a supernatural neutral but like, that's you can like do the this perfect all the time, every day i'm gonna shove day that time. in my crease so hard later <laughs> So I'm <laughs> Desi, I love you, babe. You are everything, yo. All right, cool. So I'm gonna do, I'm taking a little bit of this guy. I'm gonna go right with my fingers. Mm -hmm. I'm not using any brush the at the ways. moment. So we're gonna go right on the lid. And I'm gonna go on both sides of the ball of the eye. And if you notice, it's so much pigment, this is not falling down at all. And you don't have to work hard to really 
give this pigment to it pay feels off. very moisturizing almost like it's like sticking a like a creamy yeah matte. like a yeah I mean, not creamy matte, like a creamy shimmer mm -hmm. and then just really press it onto the pencil that's the goal so I started using my hands with makeup like assistant Charlotte mm -hmm. she used to always use her, her hands and her fingers your body heat changes the texture of makeup so it warms up you know your concealers it makes them seem a bit more uh, organic and lived in it yeah. doesn't seem like a product so if you can ladies get in there sometimes put your brushes down put your egg sponges down and use <laughs> your fingers if you can I've been I put my foundation on the other day with my hands mm -hmm. and I got a lot of compliments and I was like oh maybe this is like this is where it's at right now yeah. I don't know okay. and so we're using a pencil a brush now I'm using a flat brush so this is gonna really get in there pack the color on but if you notice, the color is already really deposited to mm -hmm. the lid. So now what we're gonna do is I'm taking a little bit of this brush that has no product on it really, and I'm gonna start to blend. I'm almost using this as a magic eraser. And then in the crease, we're gonna start to go with it. Some really beautiful mattes to bridge this color on out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep the bone of your lid fairly clean. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I go so high up on my shadow, mm -hmm. like you start blending and then I, the next thing you know, I'm inside my brow and I'm like, wow, that happened mm -hmm. so fast. Totally. It's, no, it's, it's all of us, and it's what, what one thing you want to do whenever that happens is get into a habit of just depositing most of your color closer to the lash line. Mm -hmm. It's really about product placement. I love that it's, you know, inspired by Safari because it truly is like the most magical, life-changing experience mm -hmm. that I've ever had. And I, it's like the most inspired I've ever felt was when Steven and I went to South Africa. Like, so we're using a little bit of this Pride Rock in the crease, uh -huh. and maybe we're going to bridge it out with a little bit of King as well. If I didn't do makeup, I would be interior design all the way. Oh, really? Yeah, for sure, 100%. I love, I can scroll through interior design for hours and hours I'm, all the time. Like, I love looking at it. It's very challenging for me, which is strange because I feel like when you have a creative eye, you think you can try to figure things out, but it's definitely something that, like, did you have, it's you had hard for me. You had I did it in the beginning, but it didn't really, like, work out, so then I just started doing it myself. <laughs> It just wasn't as professional as I wanted it, you know, oh, like, okay. it was just kind of... Yeah. And you know what the thing is, is that you work in a business and I work in a business where clients are like, you know, are, are every day. I'm always such a stickler for uh, customer service. I don't have the luxury or the option to not be good to the people who I work around, you yeah. know? So I'm always looking for the same thing. It's like, how, how are you able to get away with shitty service, but I'm not? Yeah, I know exactly. And you just have to be professional yeah. and like try to make your client, you know, happy and stuff. And yeah, and in this day and time, it's so optional where we can spend our money and like you know, th with the power of like social media, you want to be good to everybody. Yeah. So, what pencil was that? So this was called Black Up. Mm -hmm. It's a line. It's out of Paris, and um, I use a waterproof pencil, brown, just dark brown. brown. Yeah. So I'm using a blending brush just to wash away most of the color of the pencil and create a beautiful like graduated fade. So you do the la lower lash line before concealer? Mm -hmm. I do, you know why? It's because whenever I do the lower lash line, I do lower lash line and then I'll, I'll put shadow here and then I'm gonna clean up the eyes mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna use my concealer to shape and lift the eyes. Ooh, yeah. it's kind of nice there too because especially with the under eye increasing and stuff, like if you don't need that much product all the way oh, under no. there, why, why put it there? I'm not a huge fan of, um, see I always do concealer last, foundation first, because um, I notice that I would just push the foundation or the concealer right out of the way if I don't. So I just get into a habit of using as minimal product as I can. I love minimal product. On skin. Mm -hmm. Eyes up, eyes up, perfect. It's one thing I always notice about like all of your makeup on awesome. Beyonce is how beautiful it looks when she performs like the sparkles. Oh yeah? It's always popping. Like. You, babe. I mean, whoa. St strategically place anything shimmery. So like, for example, whenever you use a shimmery blush or a shimmery highlighter, it should always dissipate away when it gets to your eye. It can be as glowy as you want on the sides of your face. But if you have a shimmery blush, it should stop. The front of the apples of your cheeks should always be void of shimmer. Oh, really? Yeah. If you're on video mm -hmm. or camera or if you're like, you know, the monitors, it looks uncapped. It doesn't look... Oh yeah, it looks like blush. Mm -hmm. yeah. So would you say that time you did the makeup in 17 minutes was like the fastest? It was for her. Also, stage makeup is completely different than like red carpet makeup mm -hmm. or editorial makeup or you know they they're all living in a completely novel direction. Working with um her for red carpet is easier than stage. Stage I have to do double everything. Mm. But when I when we're doing like a video, I can just do. But I I have to. It depends on where we are because I know if we're in a warm climate, if we're anywhere near a beach, she's gonna want to get wet. 
so I have to make sure everything appears where it's starting to be waterproof. Yeah. So waterproof sensibility is, is key as well. All right, cool. Dang, so much knowledge. You know, when I first started makeup, you know, I came into it like with Halloween makeup and I had no idea what I was doing, but I was just doing it for fun with Steven. Uh -huh. And then, dark brown? Mm -hmm. Dark brown again. You're smoking the dark brown under. Uh -huh. Underneath the lash line. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just having doing it for fun for a Halloween party for him. And then people said, oh my God, where'd you get your makeup done? And then I started booking people. They're like, do you do this professionally? And I was oh, like, wow. yeah, 100%, even though I didn't. I just said, yes, I did. <laughs> That's how we all started, right? Yeah, and the next thing you know, they're like, do you do TV makeup too? And I was like, uh, yeah. And, and now I, looking back, I feel so bad for whoever's makeup I did for TV because I had <laughs> no knowledge of like. But I'm sure they loved it, babe. I'm sure they looked really, really cute. I don't know. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like Beyonce already. Mm. <laughs> Get a lash on you, get a brow highlight. And now we're gonna He's go. He's working on his YouTube game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My Vanna White. Yes, there you so, go. So now we're gonna go for a little bit of safari khaki here. Oh, yeah? I just love that color. So I'm gonna show you a really a favorite thing of mine. Mm -hmm. So Taupe Matte Blush from MAC okay. happens to be the OG. This is the original gangster of contour. And when I say the original gangster, it's one of the things when you were like an assistant of Pat Charlotte, uh, Peter Phillips, like, you know, all these big page, this is one thing you had to have in your kit was taupe. Because whenever you look at the campaigns, the editorials, everyone was contoured with taupe. Like here, all mm -hmm. on the lids, it creates such a beautiful sculpting element because it's so matte, it's so cool, and it gives you such a receding dimension for your skin. Okay. Also, it doesn't matter what complexion you are. You can be Naomi Campbell, you can be uh, Nicole Kidman. It's not super glamorous. It's not something you look at in the pot and say, oh my God, I need that. Like I swoon over that. But yeah. it always gives you, if you circle your, your eyeshadow with this, it gives you the most invisible blend into nothingness ever. What a great tip. And then start to use concealer to lift her up and move those eyes around. When I say move the eyes around, she's always super young, but it's, I'm gonna show how concealer can be your best friend when it comes to sculpting the eyes. Ooh. Let's go into this color called Landscape. Okay. So Landscape, if you notice, it's this color here. Yeah, so I love that it's not super frosty and white. Oh yeah. It's like skin frost. It's like skin shine. So I'm using this on the bone. I don't always feel like people need, or it's necessary to, to illuminate the bone, but I do want to illuminate the bone today just a bit. We're illuminating the bone. I'm gonna use that now in my tutorials. I love it. Next, I'm gonna illuminate, illuminate the bone. The bone. So I'm gonna curl your lashes. Mm-hmm. And look up. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. I thought I just went, ah! All right. Would you freak out? I actually, I, I clipped my mom's lids like back in like 2002. Oh my God. So I'm always a little bit like... Cautious. Apprehensive, yeah. The first time that you did Beyonce's makeup, were you like... Nervous? Yeah, the first time I did um, her makeup, I was more nervous to meet her than to work on her. Cause what, I know it sounds crazy. Like nowadays, like when I'm working, I kind of like leave myself a little bit. Mm -hmm. and, but now I have to realize I can't leave myself too far away because I need to be on camera. When you're really in it, like, you know, back in fa during fashion weeks or like if you're at a show or you're working and you're in it, you're in it. You're, you're in, in it, it, yeah. You you just leave the building. They, you know, they always say when the spirit meets the hand, that's when art is created, you know? And so like, I just, I knew like, once I get to work and I'm good, but it's just the get to working part. Yeah. <laughs> so I went in and I saw her and she, I know it sounds crazy, but she just looks so familiar. Like she had. <laughs> yeah, no, right? We've well, seen her face. Yeah. Beyonce. But I just know that if I could be myself, I, I felt like I would be in a really good place. Yeah. I was like, hey, how are you? What's going on? I was like, you know, I was just kind of quiet at first, but I was like, how old are you? And I, that's the ultimate rule. You never ask anyone. Yeah, how old I was like, damn, is. you hit it off with that one, huh? And that was the first thing I asked her. And she was like, 28. And so I was like, I'm 28 too. And this is, you know, back in the, this is a while ago. And um, and so I just started doing her makeup. And she was like, do what you want to do, whatever you got to do. And I just started just whipping it together. And she liked it. She's so pretty, even without makeup. It's crazy. She, she's I mean, actually so beautiful without she's makeup. So oh my pretty. God. Like, I love her, like, no makeup moments. Me I'm too. Just like, wow. She likes her no makeup moments too. She's so pretty. So that was the craziest. You know who I freaked out when I saw? Actually, hmm. I'm use this. As I know this sounds crazy, so I don't really get starstruck at all, right? Yep. But you know who I saw? I was at the Abbey. I was at the Abbey in West Hollywood. Uh -huh. I don't know why. We and we've were all been at the all, Abbey Out of all Hollywood. places, right? You know, um, but babe, Shaka Khan fucking rose. Shaka, Shaka Khan. Khan! 
rose up. My guy's like, he's like, babe, sit down. I said, I said, and I have no fear. Like, yeah. I'll, I'll go to anybody else, no matter. I didn't even flip up when I met Barack. I was like, okay, cool. Nice, you know, great to meet you. Love what you're you doing, all that out? kind of stuff. No. God, I would have freaked out. But I freaked out when I saw Shaka Khan. It was like, because I grew up off of her music. Yeah, yeah, My yeah, grandmother yeah. loved her. Like, I'm old, you know, in terms of like, I'm an old soul. Old I, grew, soul. I grew up around old people and old music. So that for me was like, some Epic. people's yeah. equation of meeting a, a Beyonce. It's also like a nostalgia thing, where absolutely. it's like, that's what means absolutely. a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Because no, and her music meant something in my house, mm -hmm. you know? So right now, what we're going to do mm -hmm. is we're going to start to lift these eyes and pull her back. And I'm going to rehydrate the eye area right underneath the eye. I always do that before I apply a concealer. Always, always, always. It doesn't matter. Even if it's hot. Even if it's what? Hot. If it's hot, I don't. All the so time. So always. So, but I try. I try to make sure that I, at least the eye under area eye. is subtle. The eye area is one area you want your concealer to glide, glide, glide. Yeah. I'm using a Shameless Foundation by Marc Jacobs, mm -hmm. and we're going in with a beauty blender, and I'm starting to stipple it on everywhere, on freshly moisturized skin. So when your skin is freshly moisturized, it's the best time to apply foundation because when your moisturizer dries, your foundation adheres in a really in a way where it just looks like it's um, lived in. Almost like you woke up like this. So I'm going in everywhere and we can start to build dimension in a tan in a second. But the goal, you have beautiful skin, so I'm not giving you massive coverage. I'm giving you like the most sheer belt complexion. And but wherever we need more coverage, we can dial it up. Sometimes when I'm feeling like not cute, I tend to have this bad habit of like loading on so much makeup and mm -hmm. then I end up feeling really not cute after. <laughs> <laughs> like instead of just doing thin and then yeah. covering where you need to. Honestly, in your case, it would just be a waste of foundation. Like, cause you don't need, you don't need it. Like look at your, your skin without the foundation. Honestly, it looks the same. It's just, I'm just giving you a finishing. This is like the Aww, face thank tuning. You. The face tuning, yes. So right now we're going directly in with concealer. Okay, now we're in the concealer. Now we're in the concealer, guys. Yes. We're using a little bit of... Uh, Makeup I'm using Forever. Makeup Forever HD concealer under and around the eyes. I'm always holding my brush here. If you hold your brush here, ladies, it's too stabby or it's too aggressive. So I'm holding my brush back here so I can have a very fluid approach to... Less pressure. How we apply, almost like a very painterly technique. But what this does is it really allows you to lift the eyes. I love concealer because I love the finishing aspect. Sometimes I'll just do- It makes something look so clean yeah. after. I feel like as time goes on and as we get older and stuff, like I just, you, I feel mature. <laughs> I feel more comfortable in like my skin than I did before where I felt like I had to have liner. I had to have, you know, mm -hmm. full face when I went out. Like, what is it about being young where you feel like you have to be so perfect and finished? I think you're just like trying to figure yourself out and you don't yeah. really know what works best for you. I reached a sure. point in my life where I'm very comfortable with like, you know, mm -hmm. it's a very sure. beautiful thing. That's, I feel like that's what you get when you get older and it's... Absolutely. You just want to shake what your mama gave you. Mm -hmm. Speaking of mama, she has the most beautiful and lovely mom who's downstairs Aww. right now. You she guys should know. That. I'm telling her, I'm like, you should start posting stuff for your page. I think she should. Because she's so creative and like, she always says like, oh, I feel like I missed my calling to do something really creative. And I'm like, there's still time. Not like, only that. What are you talking about? It's, you can do anything at any time. Oh, Bam. wow. So we're getting there. We're lifting and we're pulling. It totally changed like my eye shape too. So we're going to take a little bit of the taupe mm -hmm. and I'm tapping any excess. The away. MAC taupe. It's MAC taupe. Mm -hmm. and chin down for me. Eyes up. And so all, all I'm going to do is just trace the eye. I'm tracing the eye, almost like invisibly tracing the eye because I know that when she takes a photograph, Wherever the taupe is, it's gonna absorb the light and make this look like a beautiful blend. Wow. So that's kind of where I want her to live. I want her to live. And then when we wow. get the mascara on, it's gonna wing her out. She's gonna, all that. <laughs> okay, cool. Ugh, all I need is a big fan. We need to bring a Bam. fan. Need, Somebody bring a fan in here, fan, please. Baby. So I'm using a little bit of a loose powder. So the loose powder I'm using right now, this is not sold in the US, but the, it can be any invisible loose powder. This is a infallible loose powder by L'Oreal. So I want to tell you guys a little bit of something about powder. So I have really strong views about powder, right? Mm -hmm. And some people know, but it's like one of those things where whenever you use powder, you want to make sure you're not using any pressed powder around the eyes. Pressed powder being like in studio fix. So you have to realize powder is heavy and it's dry. So anything heavy and dry is a recipe for disaster around the eye area, mm -hmm. especially when we become more mature. So you see this? You see how that just goes into the air and dissipates away? Whenever you see a powder that goes and it drops or a pressed powder that happens to be in a compact, it's gonna weigh your ocular, ocular area down. It, the area around your eyes is so thin it's almost transparent. So if you think about the skin on your lips and the skin on your eyes, you gotta protect it, you know? So always try to always set your concealer with loose powder. 
So, I mean, everyone does it differently, but I, that's just my jam when it comes mm -hmm. to concealer. You can put press powder around the face, but I want you to keep your eyes as light as a dove. Light as a feather. Light as a feather. Remember that from the movie Crash? Light as a feather, stiff as a board. You know, you know it. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. <laughs> Don't you love when people get your references? Oh, listen, I'm a movie buff. I like you gotta love get the movies. Me and my brother will just say a line out of nowhere and. You gotta, you gotta catch it. Mm -hmm. You gotta catch it. And if you don't catch it, you drop the ball. Yeah, yeah. It's like I'm so disappointed if he right. doesn't get it. But he he always gets it. It's crazy. Can I can I speak to the business side of what we do? Yeah. I'm sorry to put you on blast. Me? Oh. <laughs> but both of you guys to see a, a husband and a wife actually working together to to do something is so cool. It's so modern. It's just really like, like for me, even for what I do, I yeah. Just, it's just like okay, that's that's the prototype of what we all needs to think about like not nine to fiving it not thinking that oh i need to do all this on my own and you need to do all this on your own no how can we pool our how can we have cooperative economics yes and pool our ideas together and work together to benefit each other's strong points yeah it's the best just in life man that's like goals seriously so i'm inspired by you guys i really thank am. you it is nice to like n when you said not nine to five i was like yeah Thinking. I don't there, even know what that life is. But. There'll be, I know, there'll be times where I'll have an idea and I'll want to film and mm -hmm. it could be like two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> no, it's like when it's um, Halloween time, it's a totally different, my mindset is like, it's so creative and I have to, to act on it. But it's nice because like I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't be able to do that with anybody else. It's very true. You know, it's, I love to do concealer after because it is lifting and it's, it pulls, it elongates the eyes, very Sophia Loren. It makes Loren. such a difference. And also, it's great for mature eyes. So women who have, everyone's not a baby anymore. You know, women who happen to be over 35 or 40, the eyes shift, the conversation changes with your eyes. So, you know, it's not about the concealer or the, the shadow placement you had in your early 20s. Yeah. So we have to figure out how can we lift the eyes. Lifting liners, lifting concealer techniques, and this would be it. You seem like you have so much knowledge. That's the one thing that I'm like learning a lot from from artists is just shapes and Absolutely. placements. It's so, it's such a talent. You have to realize that for me, I love mature women. So I love women who are. I love shout that out, love shout out to my I women who that. are over forty, who are over forty five, like who are watching this video today. That's my demographic. I mean, yeah, I love teeny bobbers too. I love young girls. Yes, shout out to the girls who are millennials. Yes, but to your moms, you know, who feel like they're completely left out of the conversation. When we, if you think Aww. about advertising, I work, mm -hmm. you know, I have a contract, a contract with L'Oreal Paris and I'm in the boardroom and I hear, I see how we're advertising and marketing. And after a certain time, we start to completely not address a certain consumer. Yeah. And so for me, I feel like it's, it's my duty to talk to girls who are on the fringe or who aren't always invited to the party, who aren't always, you know. That was so like, <laughs> That's so true, <laughs> no, but like you yeah, don't even think thing. about that's, that. That's, that's my that's that's what I love. Um, so what I'm gonna do? We're gonna start to bronze you up and make you all glowy and give you mascara and pull your eyes back even more. Ooh. And then, but I think we're in a good place. Oh we're, yeah. I think we're starting to fill ourselves. Yeah. No, I'm. Yeah. Did you see all of a sudden I was like flipping my hair? <laughs> so right now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna taking a, a cream foundation and we're gonna start to bronze. You know okay. how this goes. Yes. And then I'm gonna go in with maybe a little liquid bronzer and powder bronzer. So I'm using a circular motion. So I contour it differently. I don't use, I don't like strike the skin. I start to buff it in in a circular motion. Mm -hmm. And just make sure you saturate your brush with a cream foundation. And the reason I'm using a cream first, I really want to lay the groundwork for any powder we have later. This makes your foundation or your bronzing um, waterproof. Almost like it, it can resist humidity, it can resist sweat. If you're going through the change of life, it doesn't matter. <laughs> my mom's going to watch this video and then she's going to, she's going to call you and be like, Hey, Sir John, can you um, come do my makeup? Of course. Actually, you know what? Mom's next. How about that? Yeah. Good. If you ever feel like, hey, my contour is going too low, then take your beauty mm. blender, which has no product, and just start to shape her back up and lift your cheek as high as you want her to go. And you don't need to bake. So I know this. I know you love to bake. I love to bake. You love to bake, but I don't bake. I cook. He does not I cook. Bake. I don't bake. <laughs> and when I say that, what that means is that I'm just, I'm fearful of powder in general. I really want the most luminous finish. What are you doing? I'm using a little bit of liquid bronzer here just to give it a bit of a, to tone it a bit more. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do this at home all the time. I'm using a NARS liquid bronzer in Laguna. Mm -hmm. I'm really going into this hairline and we call this in the community called burning your hairline. Burn that hairline. Okay, so now we can go into bronzer bronzer. So now we're reinforcing, right? We're reinforcing. We're giving that double edge, that duality. So it's just a powder bronzer. And as soon as it hits the skin, so if you notice, I'm not even, as soon as it hits the skin, I'm moving it. It's like I'm you're whisking it. it. Almost like, yeah, cooking. 
what happens is wherever you deposit your color, you want to make sure that it evenly distributes. I'm cooking rotisserie chicken for dinner tonight. Oh, yeah. So I'm going back and forth between the Laguna and the Marc Jacobs, what is this called? Tantastic. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> a good one. You use this too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cool. I love a matte bronzer. Yeah, me too. So can I tell you guys a story at home that I had a dream about Desi last night? And so what that means, okay, and I swear, Steven, this is like, so like, gee, it's not even that. Like, <laughs> but what I'm saying is that for mm. me, whenever that happens is that either I'm nervous about a job or I, I guess you want to do your best, I assume. That's what that means, right? So I came in, I'm like, babe, um, I had dreams about you last night, it's like two in a row. So that's a good thing, that's a good sign. Yes, that means we're on the right path. Yeah. And then to top it off, we came with matching outfits and I was like, did we just become best friends? <laughs> you know? It doesn't matter what part of the game you're in, if you don't get a little bit, not nervous, but if you don't get a little bit like, you know, I want to do my best, I'm thinking about it before I go, then you shouldn't do it. Yeah. Like, you know, it doesn't matter how, even, like I talked to Serena Williams, you know, and she's at the executive level of her career, and she still gets nerves before she does it, uh, you know, a match or whatever, and she's thinking about it the night before. So it's like, you know, you don't, that doesn't leave you because you like become, that's like what's exciting about it. Yeah, right? When you care so much about something, it's like, you, you feel nervous. Care. When you don't care, you don't get nervous. When you don't care, why, why are you still doing it? Like, you know, like, why are you still there? So right now we're bronzing and we're golden. I believe we're almost there. And then we're going to start to give you a glowy, luminous highlighter. Ooh, this all worked out so perfect because I have somewhere to be today. And I'm like, <laughs> wow, I don't have to do my makeup well, now. Well, man. Thank you, man. I'm already snatched. So I want to show you guys something. What I'm going to do is I'm going back in with the taupe and I'm giving her even more dimension because I told you bronzer doesn't give you that dimension. But this is what we're going to give her and really carve out that cheekbone there. There, we're going to go into the temples of the forehead as well and then underneath the jawline. So that creates all that dimension. And then I'm going to soften the lines with a little bit of bronzer. And then if we feel like we made a mistake, we're going to bring that cheek up higher then we just take a little bit of our brush, which has foundation on from earlier, not our brush, this is our egg sponge, and we're gonna shape that cheek even more. So the cheek is always very high. Same thing to the other side. Symmetry is key. I just love the tones of this shadow. It brings out like the eye tones, you know? Mm -hmm. You have a good amount of this base too. And so, I do? Yeah. Ooh, you think I have good real estate <laughs> Talk to me, dirty, go ahead. That's, I, that's, Cause like I have smaller eyes, so no, when no, people you do, say but you that- No, all this lit, look. Close your eyes. That's a lot of lid space, babe. Yeah. And you already have a tiny nose, but I'm gonna contour your nose just a little bit. Oh, yes. Yeah? I would like it to look like I can't breathe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> four, okay. Perfect. Let's bring you back to thriller. Uh, Cause after that, it was a chop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have a question. Talk to me, yeah. What is your advice for someone who maybe has like acne or breakouts right here to keep the coverage with their foundation because i feel like mm -hmm. sometimes i used to break out a lot right here back okay. back in the day when i had like acne all right here yeah. and i feel like if i were to put foundation and then when i would go in with my bronzer yeah. do you feel like it, it kind of like starts to show well, your acne through it well this is the thing try to get um once you give yourself coverage mm -hmm. and then give yourself a very thin veil powder you know, try not to give yourself too much powder because your powder is going to oxidize. So mm. as soon as your powder oxidizes, it'll become more porous and you'll see more texture. So give yourself a thin veil of powder, almost like the one we used to set your concealer, yeah. and then give yourself a really light hand. The key is for in that area, if you have texture, less layers. Less layers. And then keep your emollient highlighters super, super high because you're not going to break out. You're never really going to break out around your orbital bone. Yeah. You're only going to have a hormonal breakout around here. So then don't put... So avoid a shimmer here and then highlighters up there. Got it. Yeah, that's something I always wondered. And like, I remember I used to try to go in and like contour with then like MAC Studio Fix powder because mm -hmm. it would give more coverage. Oh yeah, but it oxidizes. It probably moves on you later. Yeah. Right now I'm using a highlighter I got in Italy and this is called Medina Shine Stick. And then I said, but um, it's discontinued now. But you know who has a really good one is, Glossier has a nice one like this. There's so many stick so highlights. So many stick highlights nowadays, yeah. And then we're gonna Benefit go Benefit has a good one. You know, Becca Cosmetics, I'm using their cream highlight in sh champagne pop? Pers Prosecco pop. Prosecco pop. Prosecco pop. I'm gonna use this with my fingers, right on the, right on the bone. So if you notice, I'm not gonna- Can I go this way so you can- I'm not gonna go onto any, toward the center of the face. We wanna make sure we avoid a shimmer underneath the eyes. I'm trying to look through the corner of my eye like- <laughs> Side eye, side eye, side eye. So I love 3D cheeks. 
three D cheeks. Yeah. All these new terms. <laughs> and if you notice, I'm using the ring finger. The ring finger is the weakest finger you have. It's going to pick up the least amount of product. Mm -hmm. You know, your um, index finger is so aggressive. So That's why they say to put your eye cream on with the ring finger. Absolutely. Okay, so now we're going to go into... Um, reinforce. We're going to reinforce. We're going to reinstate that with a beautiful highlighter. Where did we get this from? Um, Asamenya, I don't know. Where did we get this from? <laughs> Ooh, so this is one of the highlights in the collection. And it's called The Circle of Life. And I feel like this tone is just right up my alley here. Oh yeah. So um, let's go for it. I'm going to use a very soft brush. A super, and I don't want the brush to be too dense. I'm using, this is a, take a picture. Smith. Yeah, Smith gum. Have you ever used those brushes? I love Smith. Yeah. Smith 104. I love those guys. I too. use their brushes all the time. So I love that one. It's very also, soft. I'm going to leave this one with you today just so you remember this day. And this is another one I love. This is called Nestel number... Wait, you're leaving this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm leaving both of them with you. Just so you can always make the highlighter just the same way we did it. Oh my god. I leave brushes with everyone just as like footprints. What a nice gift. So this is super soft too. Like take a feel for the texture. It's super soft. Yes. And this one right here is that perfect strategic very soft. for highlighter. So we're going to go in with the highlighter. Turn it in the mirror for me. Um, we're going to just start to set the liquid luminizer with a bit of the circle of life highlighter. Bam. Circle of life. If you notice, I always do this rolling motion with brushes and what it does is it buffs everything to a higher shine so you, you don't see any particles of this has been jet milled three times but you don't want to see any particles of product so yeah it's very smooth i just love when the highlight looks very like wet oh yeah i love highlighter but also you know ladies if at home if you feel like hey i have a my skin is making my highlighter look dry, just make sure that you really, really get in there and hydrate that area. Also, Glossier has bubble wrap uh, eye cream that gets in there and plumps. So that's a great alternative if you want to make sure that you go in, hydrate well. Drink water, Good ladies. Tip. You can have this with margaritas, but just make sure you don't do the salt around the rim. Ooh. Sodium makes your face ret retain a lot of water. Oh, I was watching this thing the other day about sodium and how it ages us much faster than we're supposed to be aging. Yeah. That like it ages Salt your skin because it's devil. shriveling and dehydrating your skin and over time like you should be looking better but we're aging way faster. And I, I freaked out. Yeah, yeah. we want a Benjamin button. We yeah, I'll still wanna... eat me some salt though because like... <laughs> do you drink celery juice? Are you in the celery juice? Uh, okay, so speaking of juicing, I can't believe you started me on this. But oh, here we go. I'm a huge fan. Celery is great for your kidneys because it detoxifies your liver, you know? Yes. But also kale juice. You know kale has 650% of vitamin K. So vitamin K is great for circulation. So if you ever look in the mirror and you see dark circles, all dark circles are a slug of circulation. Oh. Yeah. You know, all these different things have such... They don't have anything to do with makeup and impact your overall complexion as a whole, you know? Yeah, I've started doing the celery juice thing. I've noticed like a huge difference in my skin. Like, of course, I'll still get the hormonal breakout, you Everyone's know, being on my period yeah. and stuff like that. But other than that, like my skin has been even nicer and not getting all those little bumps that mm -hmm. I was like getting before. We want to look good forever, but we want to be here forever. Yeah, it's too, important you know? to take care of your body from the inside it's out. Absolutely right. And it's like, you don't think about that kind of stuff when you're like younger. You don't need there, to. You don't need to, <laughs> but like it all will catch up to you. Oh yeah. So prevention is better than the cure. So right now we're doing nose contour and talking about life. <laughs> oh, for... my nose just got extra skin tea. So what look I'm doing is that. I'm doing a really gray base, gray, super gray base. Wait, contour. you know what I saw that? I was like, wow, that is very gray. This, this is an RCMA, um, <laughs> I RCMA love RCMA palette. palettes. palette. See that palette? And this is the, um, how would you say? Uh, light, okay. highlight, contour That's... palette, light. Yeah, light. And also we're setting it with our gray matte, MAC taupe shade. You won't see this in a photo, but it just gives you that beautiful depth that we're talking about. A good nose contour starts in the sockets of the eyes. So I'm gonna finish it right in here. And then we're almost there. You know what I always forget to do in makeup wise? What? I always forget to do lips. I don't know why. Cause I'm so focused on the eyes and the skin. And everything else. That I'm always like, oh yeah, we gotta do lips. Uh, sometimes I kind of feel like, oh fuck lips. You it's know, like, yeah, right? like it's is not it? like okay, a fun, it's, it's just kind of like the, the it's, it's definitely the one thing in my process that I like just want to like slap it slap on. on really yeah, quickly. I'm just like, Ugh. by the time I'm done with everything else, I'm like, I'm over this now. I see other makeup artists who do such a beautiful job, like lining, and I'm like, oh, I would never, I just never think about lips that much to do that, to do, to work on them. Cause I'm like, we're just gonna eat them away, girl. Yeah. The way somebody shapes your lips can make you look 
incredible or like crazy, you know? That's real talk. So this is a minimal uh, nose contour. Oh my God, it looks incredible. So as we go in with the nose, we start here and then we're gonna go down the sides of the nose, create a really beautiful shape. And then always wrap underneath, I always wrap underneath the tip of the nose. People forget that area. Ooh. But because it creates a beautiful shadow and then we go on the sides here as well. This yeah. is a light concealer or what is this? Um, this is our, this is that foundation from oh. RCMA. Yes. And then we set it with, can I give you some rapid fire questions? Yes, let's, rapid fire. Let's rapid fire each All right. other before I go, right? All right, let's do it. Bam, okay, cool. One piece or bikini? Bikini. Dubai or Paris? Dubai. Are you a cat or a dog girl? Dog. Press powder, loose powder? Loose powder. Now, after this lesson, clearly, <laughs> okay. I'm a very good student, so I'm gonna say loose powder. Okay. Detoxifying wash or, or mask? Mask. Would you guys want a boy or a girl? Boy. Aww. Okay. He wants a girl. <laughs> I'll take both. You'll take both, as long as they're healthy. But I had all brothers, so. Ooh. Boys is like what I. Used to. Mm -hmm. Take out or go out? Yeah, take out or go out. What would you? Take out. Take out, okay. Okay, I'm gonna flip it, and this is the ultimate dinner conversation. I want you guys to do this at home. So, if you were an animal, mm -hmm. what animal would you be, and why? I'd be a chicken. You no, <laughs> because I like yellow. <laughs> <laughs> if you were a city, what city would you be? If I was a city, I'm stumped right now. Okay. What would you be? Um, if I was a city, I would be. If I was a city, I would hopefully be someplace like uh, Marrakesh. A little bit of mysteriously old, but also a little bit of like, just obnoxious in your face. <laughs> I have no idea. That's a really good question. I'll have to think about that one. Finishing off our look right now with, let's do the tinted lip balm. Okay. Yeah, bam. Let's do it. I mean, we have a lipstick. Would you want to do a lipstick or would you want to do a tinted lip balm? It's up to you. Your choice. Mm, I think I want to do a tinted lip balm. So this is from the collection, yeah. Lion King Disney. And that's kind of major. I don't know if I said that already. Thank you, babe. Thank that's you. kind of major. Aww. Hakuna Matata. That's the color. Means no worries <laughs> for the rest of your day. <laughs> you know what's so funny? It's Is that everyone knows, it doesn't, no matter where you go, everyone knows these, the music. It's universal, man. The first movie that made us cry. Guys, I'm a crier. I've become a crier in my old age. But like, stuff that like, like that you don't think you'll cry about. But real men cry. Yeah, that's true. Real men cry. <laughs> I cry a lot when I'm, that's time of the month. Yeah? For no reason. I could be watching a Fantine Pro V commercial and that shit could make me cry. I'm like, what the hell? The other day I started crying at my brother and I'm like, just ignore the tears. I don't know where they're coming from. I don't even know what's happening right now. Like, do you have siblings? I do. I'm the oldest. I'm the oldest of three. You're very like engaging and like, it, like even when you say like, play this around the dinner table, like it just seems like that's uh -huh. things that you do with like your siblings, you know, or like, yeah. A lot of people. I do. I'm not in the business of makeup. Like the reason I'm here still after this long of time and you have, when you have clients who are like higher profile, mm -hmm. And to keep them over a decade, it's like, you know, yeah, that's. I'm not here because the makeup they like. I'm here because like I enjoy like people and, and making people happy. That's yeah. really, I'm a people pleaser in, You're just, in a way. And that's kind he's of. Like, he's yeah. like the sun. You're like a sunshine. Thank you. Ah, oh, wow. Just, Damn, that's so a, sweet. A bold claim. Thank you. But the and sun it's not just the yellow but shirt. The, but the sun burns your ass too, though. Yeah, from time to time. <laughs> this is a little advice for people at home who are in the beauty industry, stylist, makeup artist, wardrobe, whatever. Mm -hmm. There's so many people who uh, who think they should only be nice to the celebrity. They come in and they're like, you know, oh, they're yeah, in no. sets or camps, mm -hmm. and they're so nice to the talent, but they treat everyone else like. Shit. That's not. Yeah, that's not right. Babe, and I've seen them come and go. And the thing is, like, literally, character is described as how you treat people who can do nothing for you, you know? So like when you're around people and you can treat the janitor the same way you treat a Beyonce, that means something in life. And if it doesn't mean something to anyone else, it should just mean something to your yeah. day. Mm -hmm. Like you can actually lift someone up who does nothing, who is not benefiting you. And that's for me, it's like, that's life, you know? So when I meet a celebrity or if we ever work on set with a celebrity, that's kind of how I like judge their character yeah. is how nice they're being to people who are doing things around them like absolutely right what i'm saying is the, the way you treat people is your calling card is this a cream blush like oh yeah i'm sorry this is a cream blush we get to talking so much over here that we forget but this is a cream blush i'm using dusk by glossier a little bit in the temples gives you like cherry hall very stupid oh i love i vibes. love doing blush in the temples love or like love heat on the temples yeah i just love blush it warms the face up makes the skin look very healthy also go always a little bit here it makes you look like you just came in from the cold oh so I'm using uh, mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras. This L'Oreal 
Paradise? Um, paradise, baby. This is a good one. Well, for me, I have like really small lashes, so... Waterproof, yeah. Waterproof is like if I want to keep them curled and wear mascara with no false lashes. Mm -hmm. I feel like the waterproof is always the way for me. Okay, cool. So right now I'm gonna go in for a pot liner. I like I like a gel liner. I don't use uh, liquid liners because they don't work as good on me. Mm -hmm. And you can't have a, a cat with no eyes, right? So we're gonna do... Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. We're gonna do a little bit of a gel liner. Just to, so basically to finish off the lash line. Add a sense of, sense of punctuation to the eyes a bit. I like don't have sensitive eyes at all. I noticed that. I'm just I noticed like, that. I'm just like, oh, eh. oh. Okay, cool. I don't we're feel done. anymore. I think, I think we're pretty good. <laughs> no, like, we're not. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Here he goes, forgetting okay. the lips. We have a good lip liner okay, moment. Yeah. So, okay, so I always, this is what you have to do. So I, when I'm working around women who are really strong personalities, <laughs> which they all are, um, I always like for them to do their own, like outline, but just apply, it's, it allows you to feel like you're a part of the look. Like what he's saying is like he's tired, he's done, and he's like, <laughs> bitch, you do it. Like, I'm done. You got this. I, you got okay, this. Okay, no, for you, sure. Yeah, give me a mirror. All right, so this is the go. Lion King Hakuna Matata. So I just like to put this in the center. Bam. Mmm. Are we done? I think we're done. We're done! Oh God, Look at this five. snatch! Bam! Yes. You killed it! Now I get to just like be fabulous all day. <laughs> okay, so we're all wrapped up. We're finished. Thank you so much. I'm glad Thank that we so were fun. able to film this, this so video. Fun. Let me know if you guys like these types of videos because I think it's fun to have someone else on the channel, especially when they're as cool as Sir John over here. Yeah, it's good to shop talk and we learn from each other. I learned some things from you. For me today, the pressure was Oh, on that you had a dream about me. Yeah, I had two dreams about Desi last night because I wanted to do a good job, I guess. So psych psychologically, it was in there somewhere but i hope you guys like it I it means you were thinking it. about me i was don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you guys want to see more videos like this and of course don't forget to check out his collection i'm gonna link everything down below congratulations Thank that's you. amazing you you deserve it Thank you i was gonna so cuss much. there but i held Thank it back but i saw you should have let it rip baby you know because that's how much you deserve <laughs> it i wanted to put an emphasis okay, on it but it. thank you guys for watching yeah. and i'm gonna put all his socials make sure you go follow him on instagram love you guys and we'll see you later bye do i look really shiny or okay? you look no? fabulous okay. so um you look radiant i'm still a little you fucky look in the face but youthful okay, you cool. look he's snatched so um i you, we need this every day <laughs> i'm like right. oh. My chi chi almost <laughs> popped out. I got so excited. And around the hairline. Oh. Whoa. That was scary. <laughs> so I really enjoyed this time. <laughs> Love when you do this. <laughs> where's the wind? Uh, where's, where's the, the wind? wind? Epic, iconic. He does. Oh. Sorry, occupational hazard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all full. So it's good to let it hang out. Yeah. Let it all hang out. Hi, right, girl. I can get a lot of views if you do that here on this channel. I'll. I'll listen. <laughs>